All right, so it's called fifth grade science fair project gone wrong because I did it on homopolar motors, which are very simple, but I tried to find something that was interesting about it, but it was hard. <laughs> so the purpose was it, or the purpose of the experiment was to find like the terminal tangential velocity, which is this big word, it's like how fast it can go and reach that limit. Um, I used like a couple different wires to see what would be best. Um, well, I used a silver wire and I used two different types of gauges of copper wire because Doc used the suggestion that he used to wrap the like thin wires together and make one that was, he said it was better, which I also tried to do that. Oh yeah, I also thought I was going to find the rate of acceleration, but it turned out that um, I didn't. Um, oh yeah, so my hypothesis was that the terminal tangential velocity is a thing, because if it wasn't, then something would be going increasingly fast for infinity, which is kind of scary and probably could destroy the universe, but you know. Um, yeah. Um, and that the terminal tangential velocity would be a direct relation to the voltage and current flow. Um, let's see. Uh, this is a simple setup of a homopolar motor. So basically, uh, you have a wire connecting to the top and to the bottom, but the bottom has to have a neodymium magnet. Um, because it, it's, um, it's like a current flow, basically. And you can, it, this one has a screw in there just because it's, make it look fancy, really. The screw doesn't really do much. Um, maybe you could reduce friction, but that's because it's pointy, which I did not do in mine. Um, yeah. All right, so this is just a bunch of data, because I use, um, this is, they're all uninsulated wires, but I use a single copper wire, I use wrapped copper wire, and I use silver wire. That's a bunch of times that it took. So I used, what? Oh, uh, I measured, so what I did is I took my iPhone, and I used slow-mo because it was really fast, actually, and, which I think was actually a reason why it was kind of um, bad error in some parts, because if you actually use, like, slow-mo on iPhone, it's not very great, but I didn't have the super fast, speedy camera that he had, um, Doc Schuster. And, um, yeah, so I just took it, I took a video, and I measured it in Logger Pro, and I had to take it from above, and you just kind of measured the angular velocity. Uh, yeah, here are my graphs. Can you read those three slopes to us? Um, this is point... Oh, 9680. This is 0.06314. And this is 0.1116. But I'll explain that a little bit later because it wasn't really like you can't just look up the terminal tangential velocity of a homopolar motor. So the way I did air was very interesting and complex. This is why I called it Frankenstein because I basically took a bunch of equations and spent a long time mashing them together into one big Frankenstein equation, which is this guy right down here. And this is how I um, found the terminal um, like velocity using the voltage of the batteries, because it was just, I used an Energizer rechargeable AA battery. So I like recharge them every time I use them to make sure that they were um, at their top peak of usage, I guess. Yeah, so I think the sources of air would have been um, the friction between the magnet and the battery and the wire as well. And the wires used, because they probably weren't perfect wires, there's probably some resistance in them. Um, air resistance, because it was spinning and it wasn't in a vacuum. Uh, loss of energy throughout the battery, as is like internal battery resistance. Um, oh yeah, I didn't, I didn't really have a good scale to mass the wires because they're really, really small, so I'd have to get a really accurate scale to do that. Um, yeah, and I also did not 
specify the wire gauges and wire, or I specify the wire ties, but not the wire gauges. So the two gauges of the wires were um, between the copper. That was the only difference. But I wrapped them. It was actually is another source of error because um, it probably created more friction with the wrapped ones, I think, because it was kind of bumpy. But um, maybe if I got like a real good score goal to braid them real well, maybe it would have been a little better. But it wasn't. So this is my error. Um, single uninsulated silver wire. I got like 22.5% error, which is not so bad. I think it's because silver was is a really good uh, wire to use. Like besides copper, it's the most well known. But I think silver is um, one of the best that you could use. Uh, got 81.8% for the uninsulated copper wire, and 44.1 for the um, the single uninsulated copper wire. Oh uh, yeah. And I have a big long conclusion because through this I had lots of research to do. So I think that the eternal tangential velocity is attained by like the um, the limited EMF that the battery can output, and that the EMF is equal to the battery's voltage and the current flowing through it. It provides torque and has to overcome friction at a certain speed. Um, Okay, yeah, so the terminal tangent velocity's speed is at which it equals the input of energy, and that's minus the all, all the little errors that came about, like air resistance and stuff like that. Um, Yeah, so I just went on to say that you could have done a lot more things through this way. You could have done the different setups, like where it has a screw in there to see if that minimized friction or not, see if you got better data. Um, but pretty much this is how you could make clean energy. It's a proper generator. You could go on, because actually there is um, electromagnetic like motors in hybrid cars. So you can make this into something really great, I think. Thank you. Is it time for a question? Maybe two? Uh, Don? So what was actually spinning? Like The wire. Okay. I didn't put a video on there just because I saw how some people put videos and I took mine out because it didn't work. You had to like, <coughs> sign into your accounts and stuff. But Andrew? Um, how did you find your accepted value for her? My accepted value, uh, it was this Frankenstein equation. I can walk you through it though. So basically, um, I used the voltage and the um, amps that the AA battery can look up because I looked it up um, online. And I basically used the um, radius of the <coughs> wire came out and the uh, masses of the whole system, which is why I said that the mass was part of my error because I didn't really have a good way to um, mask the wires too. It was mostly just the battery and the UD neon magnet. Doc? Um, looking on those equations like the second equation, the third line, and the fifth line, uh, is there an omega missing in parentheses? Like it didn't format properly oh, or yeah. something? That probably happens when you put it inside. Yeah, that, that is supposed to be an omega. Okay. But like well, the that group helps. lettering probably didn't transfer right into um, the slides. Very good. Cool. Thanks again.